What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is uh, Craig 19 T20 Veterans League 2021. Round seven, the last round we're in Mumbai Indians versus Wellington Firebirds. And uh, Wellington Firebirds coach is Purav, uh, Mumbai Indians coach is Menash. Wellington have made it through to the playoffs. Mumbai needs to still uh, win this game and. Uh, you know, win it by a good margin to have a good uh, net run rate. And uh, as you can see, by the way, I made a big mistake. I'll talk about it in the next game, though. But here we go. If you want to participate in leagues like this, become a channel member. And also follow me on social media sites, Instagram and Twitter. And uh, if you want to know the rules for how the squads were selected, check out the description or click on the eye icon in the top right corner. That'll take you to the draft video. Coin toss. Lasit Malenga. Captain of Mumbai, Virat, Captain of Wellington. It's Tails, Wellington Firebirds have won the toss. VK. Will he bat first? Will he bowl first? That is the question. He's gonna bat first. <laughs> Soranga Luck, multi open a bowling. Shekhar Dhawan starts things off with a dot. Like I said, it's a. Uh, Oh, lovely shot. It's a game that doesn't really matter all that much for Wellington, but it matters a lot for Mumbai. So, well, let's see. That's a lovely shot into the cow corner through mid wicket. They'll pick up a cut. Oh, what is happening there? Bit of a mix up. They've made it back in the end, actually. Yes. Next hit gets lucky. That'll be four. Boom, gone. That's a lovely shot into extra cover. 14 of 7 deliveries, Shikhar Dhawan. Oh, there he goes again. I was hoping the late movement there would get an outside edge because the length was extremely poor there. Half volley, not going to cut it. Hafiz goes, oh, over cover, just about. I thought that might be the end of a feast, but no, he's made it. That's a lovely shot straight over the bowler's head. And onto the rope it'll go. One bounce for four runs. Check 11, 22 of 13. Oh, lovely. It's another boundary, 26 of 14. Hafiz goes into extra cover. That'll be four more. 11 of 9 for Mohamed Hafiz. Oh, that's brilliant. 31 of 18. Shekhar Dhawan. Looking good. So does Hafiz. I thought Wellington might not put up a fight since they don't really need to win the game, but I have been proven wrong. They are putting up quite a fight. Okay, Shikhar Dhawan, what have you got against Mumbai? That is lovely. 40 runs up and 50 punishment between these two. Lovely, that'll be four. Yeah, don't worry, don't bother. The Indo-Pak partnership's going strong at the moment for Wellington. Oh, lovely. That'll be four. 66 up for Wellington without having lose, lose it. What? Without having lost a wicket. That's what I meant to say. Yes. There he goes. Has he been covered? No, he hasn't. First wicket. On 67. Dumb and gun for 47. Lasset Malinga. Slinga Ringa gets the man, the myth, the legend. Check out that one. That's a lovely catch, running catch, not easy. Looks easy, but it's not easy by any means. Shakib Al Hassan reserves all the credit there. Because that was not that great of a delivery. It was a half volley. He's given him a bit of room as well to free his arms. Last hit. VK, the skipper, comes in next. Continuing right where Shakib left. First delivery, bang, four runs. Oh, 
Oh, that looks straight on. Unless he's hit it with a bat, that is going on to hit the metal stump. Or maybe I'm blind because uh, Liam Dar does not think so. It could be that I'm just blind. I need to see a doctor, man, if that's the case. Okay, there's no bat. Let's see. No, oh, piss off. Okay, I am blind. <laughs> it's still out, though. It should have been given out. Come on now. I'm going to be honest, I thought that was a googly. Ooh. Umpire gives it. Is that a great decision? The ball was... Which way was the ball turning? That's the real question, yeah? Because if it was turning, it was, if it was an in-swinger, then it's not out. But if it was an out-swinger, then it is out. I think it might have been an out-swinger. That's why he's giving it out. Let's see. Yeah, it is an out-swinger. And therefore, it will be out. Yep, that's come back. Leg stump shattered. I wonder if he's gone for 20 of 20. Suresh Raina comes in next. Uh oh. That might be the end of Reiner. That is the end of Reiner. Okay, Mumbai is making a great comeback into this one. Things didn't start off too great for Lasith and company, but they're doing well to get back into this game. By the way, I was thinking about turning the radar off. I talked about this in the previous... Um, I don't know which game it was, actually. I think I'm going to do it in the next game. I want to try it, man. It's going to be weird. Yes. Ah, uh, nicked it. That'll be four from VK. 15 of 13 for Verat Kohli. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Not an easy catch, not by any stretch of the imagination, but you've got to hang on to catches like that in a game like this important. Look at that. Full stretch dive. Oh, nah. Not easy. It's a great shot from... Rashfiq uh, Rahim. Uh-oh. He might be out. I think he is out. That's a close one, but I think he's gone. Yep, he's gone. Mush from Bangladesh. Legendary wicketkeeper batsman is run out. Kieran Pollard, next batsman in. Oh, that's a great shot into the gap. That'll be four runs from VK. 23 of 18 deliveries. Yes. There he goes again. They have slowed down. But VK is picking up the pace. That is very good to see. The skipper leading from the front. Oh, that's cheeky. And that's four. That's raced away to the boundary for four. Don't even bother. First delivery and he does that. Oh, he's gone. That's the end of VK. Wicket number five, Shakib Al Hassan strikes. Mumbai really needs this wicket. I mean, this game. And they're doing everything they've got to make it work. VK gone. Irfan Patan, next batsman in. Goes into extra cover, Irfan. Only the second delivery is found the rope. That is brilliant. One of the reasons why I like the Firebirds so much is uh, they have got a lot of depth in their batting. All the way down to the last man, they've got batsman. Yes. Oh, that is so clever. Might race away to the boundary for four. Nope, it won't. 
We'll take a few runs. There are three runs, I think. Direct hit, but that's not enough. And they're going to give up an extra run. Graham Kremer is sleeping, so that's four runs taken. All that good work for nothing in the end. Yeah. Out of the gap, that'll be four. 16 over is 123. Oh, that's brilliant. Into extra cover. They've got a deep cover. Will he be able to catch up? No, he will not. 127 in 16.1 overs. Got a loss of five wickets. Oh, he's taking him on. He's cleared mid wicket. He has not cleared the rope. One bounce and four runs for Patan. Straight on, full toss is not going to cut it. Was aiming for the Yorker length, misses Mark, smashed it straight over the bowlers at Kieran. Yes, gotcha. Got him way too much room, that's four. 146. Oh, lovely fielder on the rope, deep extra cover, not going to be able to catch up. Yeah, Switch a brew, another gap as well. I don't think he's meddled it too well. Yep, they will take a couple of runs there. Yep, oh, lovely. That's over backwards point. That'll be for 163 runs up. With two deliveries still to spare. Yeah, that's it. I think that's a boundary. I think that'll be a boundary. That is a boundary. 167, I think that is a very good total. Mumbai in trouble. Well, let's see. We haven't seen big chases. Although 167 is not that much, uh, you know, it's not a huge total. It's just that we haven't seen big chases. You know, 150. If you score more than 150, you're pretty much won every single time. So let's see how this is going to go. Mumbai needs this game desperately. I'm not entirely sure, but I think if they lose, they still might be able to make it on net run rate. We'll find out at the end of the game, obviously. Here we go, Starkey Boy to Berstow. He starts things off with a boundary. Berstow is the highest run scorer in the league at the moment. The player in form, so he's one to watch out for. Yep. Gentle push down the ground. I think that'll be boundary number two. Two for two. Johnny Berstow, he's got bare runs. <laughs> Oh, free hit from Kyle Kortzer. And that'll be a boundary. So that's 15 runs off the first over. That's plenty more than what they need, and that's how they need to bat. Well, that's a hit and a half from Johnny Bertings. It's nearly smashed that one for six. One bounce and four will be instead. Stephen Finn, not too happy. It's a good shot into the gap. Aerial route by Kyle Kurtzer. Four runs. The opening partnership here is all important. Both the batsmen are meddling it well, particularly Johnny Bairstow. And that's a very good sign for Mumbai Indians. If they're to win it, these two will have to play long. There he goes into extra cover. Bairstow, 22 is on already of just 10 deliveries. That's 220 strike rate. All right, well, he's not done. That's 26 of 11. He's not gonna stop. He's not gonna stop. He wants the win. The intent is clear. They are here to win. Both the sides are giving it their all. That's four boundaries in the over. Brilliant from Bairstow. Wellington didn't need to win this game, but they did not give up. Mumbai have to win this game. They are definitely not giving up. The game is very much on. I think this will have a very close finish, and I hope it does. Yes. Oh, that is so cheeky from Kyle Kortzer. Player of the decades from the Associates Nations. Yep, gotcha. There he goes again. Uh oh, Phil coming under it. Deep mid wicket in play. That's the partnership broken before that could hit 50. Ashwin strikes. 
That's been placed into the arms of deep mid wicket and he did not let go. It was a difficult catch, a low catch, but he's taken it. Stephen Finn is a tall bloke. It's uh, not easy for someone that tall to bend over low like that, but he's done it. He's done it for his nation. Like I said, none of the teams are accepting loss here. Andre Russell, he's been very disappointing. But this game matters more than any other. He has to perform here. He has to redeem himself. There he goes again. Has he got it? I think he does. He's a hard hitter of the ball, a strong man. And they'll need that strength from him here today. He's done well so far, two back-to-back -back boundaries. Sound of the gap. I think he's beaten the fielder on the rope. Oh, yes, he has. Johnny Bairstow going strong alongside Andre Russell. Yep, Lovely. That is such a clever shot. That is such a cheeky shot. That'll be four. Yep. Into the cow corner. We'll just take two runs. Uh-oh, like Lancer turns, luckily no one inside the circle, so he's safe. They're going to push for two. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, he's safe. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Too wide, he's gone after him, over cover. They've got a deep cover. He's gone four runs, he's played it fine. Russell, I think he wants to redeem himself. Floodlights are on, feel they're coming under that one. No, Lance just short. Johnny Besto will come back for the second and we have seen him raise his bat so many times in this tournament he does it one more time this is the biggest game of this season so far for Mumbai and this guy's doing well oh yes that's why he gets paid the big bucks Johnny star man leading from the front like a star man does brilliant so far Lovely. That'll be into the gap. That'll be... Nope, that's not going to be four. A bit of a mix-up. A bit of a mix-up. Might be a run-out. I think it is. Uh-oh. That might be the end of Johnny Bairstow. Ah, uh, shh. Let's see. Ooh, bat's on the line. Bat's on the line. He's gone. He is O-U-T. He's out. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wellington will be happy to see the back of him. Shakib comes in next. He can bat. Okay, into the gap. That'll be four. That's just what they needed. Not great line, although they've got a fielder on the rope. Nope. Oh, maybe a run out, maybe a run out, nope. Extra cover, Shakib is owning it. Russell showing up when Mumbai needs him, so is Shakib. The big names are showing up. Oh yes, this is why you need star players on your side. Oh, they have not crumbled under pressure so far. They're doing well. This might be the biggest chase in the league so far. Oh, that's out. Maybe the fact that it's, uh, it's around the wicket will save him. Umpire does not think so. Are they going to review it? It's Hafiz who's got the big man, Andre Russell. But Andre have done enough damage already, even if this is out. The game's not over yet. He would have liked to stay out there. But he has put Mumbai in a pretty comfortable position. And now the big man Kev comes out next. We know how hard of a hitter of the ball he is. He is he's done really well, actually. That's the boundary. There you go. First delivery. Boing. Four runs. Shot keep showing maturity here. Just takes one run, does not have to smash it well. Wait for the overthrows, wait for them to make mistake, wait for them to give you runs. And that you learn from experience, and Shakib's got plenty of that. Catch 
Oh, lovely. That's what I'm talking about. He's waiting for them to make a mistake. And he's latching on to it when given the opportunity. There he goes. Kevin O'Brien, though, very different from Shakib. He throws his bat at everything. He's an absolute monster when it comes to batting. Fees looks angry. There he is. He's got him with a goose rock. Hafiz, the look he gave him after getting hit for that boundary, you must have seen him. He was very angry, and I was like, all right, all right, Kevin is in trouble because Hafiz have got plenty of experience as well. He knows how to handle pressure as well. If it was Shakib, it would have been much more difficult because Shakib is much more calm and collected. Kevin, he's a hothead. <laughs> no ball, that's not going to help. That's definitely not going to help. That's gone four runs. Well, five runs. Yep. Nicks it. That'll be four. Oh, just two more runs to win. Just two more runs to win. Yep. Catch it. There it is. Tessara Pereira finishing the game off in style. And getting the all-important win for his team. They've won by six wickets. An important win. They needed this. They've got this. It was such a great game. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Both the teams gave it their all. You cannot blame anyone. All right, highest wicket taker, Harbhajan. He's got a game left as well, so he could uh, go even higher. And... Uh, We've got Imran Taha right behind him as well. Then we have Johnny Bairstow entering 300. Will anybody else enter 300? Brendan Taylor is the closest one. Shane Watson's got a chance. He's got one game, but he's got to score a lot of runs. 87, that is? No, 77 runs he needs to score to get to 300. And uh, so, yeah, I think Johnny Bairstow pretty much is going to be the highest run scorer. But here it is, the table. Stags at the top. Mumbai now in second place with 10 points. Firebirds in third place. So, Stags, Indians, and Firebirds have made it. Now it's between Multan, Lightning. Those two teams, who is going to make it? Lightning has to win. If Multan wins their next game, then it's over. It's done. If Multan loses and Lightning wins, it comes down to their nut run, net run rate. Not nut run rate. That's a very different thing. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe. Check out my social media sites, Twitter and Insta. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...